Okay, today we are going to teach you how to add your own devices or models into the LT Spice. This assumes that you want to add a new model for a new device similar to one in the existing library. So here are three different ways. The first method is to modify the libraries directly. So the first thing you want to do is to go under your C disk or your main hard disk. Uh, look under your program files. Uh, locate the LT Spice directory. Then you want to enter the lib and then CMP file uh, under the appropriate device that you want to add a new model to. Um, you want to open it with a text editor such as Notepad over here. And you want to add the model directly to the end of the last one. So in this case, I'm using uh, a diode. So I'm going to open this. Here we go. Just copy and paste it on one line and then you would save it and then that would be that. The second method we are going to use is to uh, use an external library file. So first thing you want to do is open up your uh, LT Spice and click on or be on your uh, schematic press S and you're going to see here um, a new window opens up so now you're going to do a dot lib and then you're going to type in the, the full uh, path file to uh, your model so in this case I'll right click here properties I find that's on the desktop so I would do something like or So I would type in my file name and then I would press OK and insert it and that would be that. And the third method is to insert the model directly into the drawing. So what I would do here is open the file which contains the model you want to use and copy the model into the clipboard. So copy that and then insert uh, spice directive or press S over here and once you've done that uh, insert the spice directive from the edit menu and then the text box you want to paste the model directly onto here and then you want to change the name of your component in your schematic to match the exact name of the model in the model line so here I would have that so if I wanted to insert a diode, I would change this to the exact name of the model in the model line. And then when you simulate it, your new device model should be used. Thank you for watching.